That's a great boast from Tyab. It's one of her signature shots, isn't it? Probably to uh, at least a million and ten, <laughs> based on uh, people <laughs> listening in. In fact, they're probably tuned off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, probably no. stop watching this match and they're uh, having a look at that. Well, El Tayeb's got herself six game balls. Well, no let against um, Kartik. So first blood goes to Nor El Tayeb. Quite a popular shot nowadays, isn't it? That's uh, down the middle ball. Yeah, what we saw, do you remember in the match with Gaultier, Gaultier and Marsh? Marsh ended up hitting about five shots yeah, behind his back. back. So good volley from El Tayeb. Six game balls for the US Open champ. Well, another error from Kartik. Second game goes to El Tayeb. Well, again, Kartik not seeing that post. 6 1 for El Tayeb. Well, there you go, match to Norel Tayeb. A lot better from Kartik in that third game, but not quite enough. So 18 minute quick fire stuff for Norel Tayeb, the number 13 seed, beating Dipika Palikau Kartik. Three love, 11-4, 11-4, 11-8. To the height there. That's a ridiculous shot. Yeah. Yeah, that was not a bad, <laughs> was not a bad straight lob either from uh, Fiona Mobley, was it? Lovely little half volley. Yeah, great variety there from Renee Mawalili. She's a real, uh, real nice player to watch when. Again, that's just the efficiency of her swing. Takes all the risk out, that short back swing. Oh, and what a finish there from Ranim El Walili. Takes a entertaining and well contested first game there. game so far but good timing for Moverly. And that's another 10 from Renee Mawalili. So now we see Fiona Moverly serve for the second game. injection of pace there from El Walili. She doesn't tend to hit the ball that hard very often. <laughs> Took Mowgli by surprise a bit. Well, there's no doubt about that finish there by Ranim El Walili. Has to be very careful. Well, she'll never back off. The, uh, the opportunity, El Walili. She's great in that front backhand, both on the volley and off the bounce. 
Yeah, great touch. Great shot. Well, she's making our Lily work for it, that's for sure. And there it is. Renee Malwalili manages to close out the third game there to take her spot in the second round. The very entertaining second match of the day there. A lot of, uh, a lot of great shot, shot making by both players. And Fiona Mowgli will take confidence from that. But it's Renee Malwalili in 35 minutes. Takes a three-love win. It's Danielle Letourneau up against Nicole David. Final was her first World Series final, wasn't it? So we're guaranteed a new winner of a World Series event. But despite the fact that, uh, that that incredible run was broken, I'm sure there are still very, very happy memories here, and she feels extremely comfortable playing here. Yeah, She's definitely. She's a crowd favourite against, as you said, probably the most experienced player on this court. Wow. She absolutely rolled that one. Really proactive and. Well, she's raced to eight game balls here. <coughs> yeah, impressive finish by Nicole David. So four game balls for David. Well, second game for Nicole David. Certainly looks like she's starting to get a feel for the court and understand the kind of squash that you need to play on there. It's good, isn't it? It's good character from the Canadian player. Well, it's a massive rate of improvement within this match. The difference between uh, this game and the first game, she's really sort of thinking on her feet, which is good to see. She looked a bit overawed in that first one. Well, it's a good use of the bows. Completely wrong footing, David. Brilliant game from Letourneau. Power sh powerful shot from David. Well, Letourneau needs to just steady things. Yeah, it's too tight. Letourneau committed completely to the shot. That's a difficult volley. Oh, what way to finish it. Wonderful shot by Nicole David. So 31 minutes, Danielle Letourneau losing out against Nicole David, 3-1. It's 11-2, 11-6, The fact that Tong will be quite familiar with um, Miao's game, that could really help her in this match because she 
no one quite like Ao on the circuit. She's got such a unique style. Well, she's turned this around pretty quickly, Annie Ao, hasn't she? She uh, just just trailing by a point there, and Tong just started to look like she's getting really settling into this match, but four quick res responses from a more experienced local player. Cross-court game there. Cross-court lob game. <laughs> Volley lob. Tight ball down that right side wall. Oh, that's fantastic oh. from Annie out. Don't know how she got that and then put it in the nick as well. Yeah, slid it across the front wall and she's starting to break away here in this second game. 7 3 now. <laughs> that was an Brilliant. incredible shot. <laughs> Stroke to Annie out, much to the frustration of Tong. It's just been slightly more clinical, really, by Annie out. So in that second game where she, she just sort of ran away on the, on the scoreboard. And you can see how here. annoyed she is there for giving that volley away on the forehand. You just cannot put the ball there against Annie out. Yeah. And she's been r done really well at keeping the ball away from that area so far. Compatriot, 13-11, 11-9, 11-3 in 30 minutes. <laughs>